Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is crystallization. In this video, we will discuss about Mears supersaturation theory. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda. So let's see questions. Explain Mears supersaturation theory. In 1927, Meiers and his associates have proposed a theory known as Meiers theory regarding crystallization from an unseeded solution. According to this theory, there is a definite relation between the concentration and the temperature at which spontaneous nucleation will take place in an unseeded solution. They conceived the existence of the so-called supersolubility curve, which is roughly parallel to the solubility curve. and situated at the supersaturated zone according to meiers there will be no spontaneous nucleation in the region between the solubility and supersolubility curves but as soon as the supersolubility curve is crossed spontaneous crystallization will start in figure we can see the curve ab is the solubility curve and the curve pq is the supersolubility curve where the curve ab represents the maximum concentration of solutions which can be achieved by bringing solid solute into equilibrium with a liquid solvent if a solution having the composition and temperature indicated by point c is cooled in the direction shown by an arrow it first crosses the solubility curve ab and we would expect here crystallization to start actually if we start with initially unseeded solutions crystal formation will not begin until the solution is supercooled considerably past the curve ab according to the meiers theory crystallization will start in the neighborhood of point d and the concentration of the solution then follows roughly along the curve de for an initially unseeded solution the curve pq represents the limit at which spontaneous nuclei formation begin and consequently crystallization can start according to meiers theory under normal conditions nuclei cannot form and crystallization cannot then occur in area between the solubility curve and the supersolubility curve that is at any position near point d along the line cd meiers theory is useful for discussing the qualitative aspects of nucleation from seeded and unseeded solutions So that's all about questions of crystallization. In the next video, we will discuss another set of question. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.